This is my Interstate 80 shield from the state of Wyoming. It measured it measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of high intensity sheeting on aluminum. Uh, the sign actually has the mounting bracket still installed on the back side of the sign when it was taken down. The uh, two zeros on the bottom of the sign showed that it's that it dates back to the year 2000. This is my unused Interstate 189 shield from the state of Vermont. It measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. Uh, the sign, although never used, is fully authentic, being that it is made by the Vermont Agency of Transportation Sign Shop. Uh, the sign is done to 1961 specifications and likely dates back to around that time. The guy who sent it to me tells me that it was sitting in the back of the sign shop for quite a while. This is my Alabama State Route 189 shield. Uh, Alabama's shield design is basically just a stretched version of the state silhouette. It measures 24 by 30 inches and is made of engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. A dating sticker on the back shows that this was put up sometime in 1996. Uh, this is my unused Texas Toll Highway 45 shield. Uh, this design is really nice and I like how they managed to squeeze a state flag into the shield. Um, it measures about 24 by 24 inches and is made of high intensity sheeting on aluminum. The This sign was made by the Texas Department of Transportation sign shop but was never put into use. Um, a sticker on the back shows that it was uh, fabricated in 2008. This is my unused Interstate 89 shield from the state of Vermont. Uh, it measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. Uh, much like my Interstate 189 shield, this was never used, but was made by the folks at the Vermont Agency of Transportation. This is my Michigan State Route 28 shield. It measures 18 by 18 inches and is made from scotch light sheeting on steel. Uh, this is a nice old cutout version of the modern uh, design and likely dates to around the 1950s. This is my Quebec Provincial Route 132 shield. Uh, the Quebec shield is cut out, much like a lot of other Canadian route signs. And on top of it, there are three fleur de lis designs. Uh, it measures 18 by 24 inches and is made of engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. A uh, date stamp on the back of the shield shows that this was made in 1997. This is my Michigan State Route 46 shield. Michigan State shield design is just a diamond with that signature Michigan M on top. It measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of high intensity sheeting on aluminum. An M dot dating sticker on the back shows that this was installed in April 2005. This is my Delaware State Line sign. It measures 12 by 30 inches and is made from engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. Uh, this type of sign can be seen along any minor two lane roads at uh, the state lines. A uh, Delaware Department of Transportation dating sticker on the back shows it was put up around July of 2008. So it didn't see too much service. Uh, this is my Interstate 95 shield from the state of Maine. It measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of high intensity sheeting on aluminum. Um, if you look closely, you'll notice that the text on the sign is, little, is a little different from the normal text. Um, that's because it's written in the old font Maine used to use called Lee Hay. Uh, Maine, Maine DOT used, Le, uh, used the Lehigh font up until the 1980s when the FHWA made them switch to the standard FHWA series alphabets for their signs. However, Maine DOT managed to still use the font on these I-95 shields up until the early 2000s. Um, the text on the bottom of the sign shows that this was made in 2003. This is my U.S. Route 202A shield from the state of Maine. 
It measures 24 by 24 inches and is made from scotch-like sheeting on plywood. Uh, note how this sign uses the old uh, font men used to use, called Lee Hay. Uh, the sign dates to around the 1960s, I'm guessing, based on its uh, looks and specifications. Um, US 202A actually doesn't exist, nor does any 202A in Maine. Uh, my guess was that this shield was made as a trailblazer sign for the New Hampshire Route 202A, but I'm not too sure on that. Uh, anything's possible, though. Maybe uh, US 202A was a proposed route in Maine that never got built, but uh, some signs were made from by the state. You know, who knows? Uh, this is my Interstate 94 shield from the state of North Dakota. It measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. Uh, North Dakota is one of the great states that still installs the Interstate shields with the state name. Um, unfortunately, the exact date of the sign is unknown, but I'm willing to guess that this was put up maybe mid-1990s, early 2000s, not too long ago. This is my Louisiana State Route 10 shield. Uh, Louisiana's shield is basically just a silhouette of the state. Uh, the State Route shields before, just a few years ago, were green, much like this one. However, nowadays, all new Louisiana State Route shields are the standard uh, black and white, which isn't very, um, isn't as good as these green shields, which is a shame. Um, it measures 24 by 24 inches and is made from engineer grade sheeting on aluminum. Um, Louisiana Route 10 is actually not related at all to Interstate 10, which runs along the southern part of the state. A Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development sign shop order has written the date of installation on the back of the sign, which is August 22nd of 1996. This is my New York State Thruway Shield. It measures 20 inches in diameter and is made of scotch-like sheeting on heavy steel. Um, I am willing to bet that this shield dates back to when the Thruway first opened in the early 1950s, but if not then, then very close to it. Um, uh, for what it's worth, the back of the sign is painted white, which is uh, standard for a lot of the signs made uh, by the state of New York back in around that time, so it's pretty cool. It has that nice uh, beat-up look to it, which is what I look for in signs. Uh, here is another one of my favorite signs, which is a US-301 shield from the state of Florida. It measures 24 by 24 inches and is made of engineer-grade sheeting on aluminum. Uh, this sign dates back to when Florida had color-coded US routes. US 119 and 29 were red, uh, US 17, 231, 301, and 319 were yellow, like this. Um, US 23, 27, 192, and 331 were green, US 41 was orange, US 90 and 92 were blue, um, US 98 was an inverted black, uh, and US 129, 22, and 41 were brown. So yes, colors did repeat, but Florida did a good job uh, to make sure that no two routes of the same color intersected. Um, the color-coded root system had a good run, which lasted from the mid-1950s to 1993, when the MUTCD threatened to uh, withhold funding to the state if they continued to use them, which is horrible. I hate that. Um, there's about a handful of these beauties still out in the field scattered throughout the state but are getting rarer as time goes by. 
Sadly, most of the colored shields that you'd find today are probably either a county reproduction or a horribly faded and beat up one that was state issued when the system existed. A Florida DOT dating sticker on the back shows that this was put up in 1991, just two years prior to when the color coded system was abandoned.